Hello, and welcome to the introductory lesson of Impala, an open source SQL engine for Hadoop course offered by Simply Learn. This lesson will give you an overview of the course, its prerequisites, and the value it will offer to you. Let us explore the objectives of this lesson in the next screen. We will start with the course objectives that describe what you will be able to do by the end of the course. Next, the Impala course overview is discussed, which will give you a strategic understanding of the course. Next, the value of this course to professionals, as well as to organizations, is discussed in detail. Following this, some other details on prerequisites for the course are covered. Finally, the lessons covered in this course are listed. Let us begin with the course objectives in the next screen. By the end of this course, you will be able to describe Impala and its role in Hadoop ecosystem, explain how to query data using Impala SQL, discuss partitioning of Impala tables and explain its benefits, list the factors affecting the performance of Impala, describe the complete flow of a SQL query execution in Impala. Let us take a look at the course overview in the next screen. This course will provide a detailed introduction of Impala and its components. It will also enhance your knowledge on Impala's role in the big data ecosystem, structure language query statements, and partitioning tables. The course will further provide an overview of the superior performance of Impala against other popular SQL on Hadoop systems. Finally, you will also learn how to execute a query in Impala. In the next screen, we will discuss how this course can add value to participants. This course is beneficial for the professionals who want to manage and query large and complex data in real time using SQL and familiar scripting languages. Professionals with knowledge of Impala can interactively query data on big data in Apache Hadoop. Impala professionals will be in high demand in all the leading organizations worldwide as Impala makes analytics for any type of data accessible to analysts. Organizations are adopting Impala to improve their speed and accuracy of analyzing big data. Many organizations have already invested huge amounts of money and time in creating vast pool of SQL developers, database professionals, and data warehouse specialists. These people can be trained to manage big data using Impala. Let us look at the prerequisites for the course in the next screen. Fundamental knowledge of programming language and Hadoop components is the basic course prerequisite. However, participants are expected to have knowledge of SQL commands. In the next screen, we will focus on the list of lessons covered in this course. There are four lessons covered in this course. Take a look at the lesson names that are listed on the screen. Wishing you all the luck for this course. In the next lesson, we will focus on Introduction to Impala. Hello and welcome to the first lesson of the Impala, an open source SQL engine for Hadoop course offered by Simply Learn. This lesson provides an introduction to Impala. Let us look at the objectives of this lesson in the next screen. After completing this lesson, you will be able to describe Impala, explain the main benefits of Impala, describe the steps to install Impala, demonstrate how to get started with Impala, describe the functions of different Impala shell commands. Let us begin with understanding Impala in the next screen. Cloudera Impala is a massively parallel processing MPP SQL query execution engine that runs on the Hadoop platform. Using Impala, you can run a query, evaluate the results immediately, and fine-tune the query if necessary. This engine was introduced in October 2012 with a public beta test distribution, and the final version was made available in May 2013. Analysts and data scientists use Impala to analyze Hadoop data via SQL or other business intelligence tools. 
using Impala's MPP-style execution, along with other Hadoop processing MapReduce frameworks, you can perform interactive ad hoc and batch queries together in the Hadoop system. Let us discuss some benefits of Impala in the next screen. Impala is a flexible engine that integrates well with the existing Hadoop components. This enables the use of files stored in HDFS, different data formats available in HDFS, security, metadata and storage management used by MapReduce, Apache Hive, and other Hadoop software. Further, Impala adds capabilities that make SQL querying easier than before. The Impala architecture also enhances SQL query speed on Hadoop data. The fast turnaround of Impala queries enables new categories of solutions. You can also use Impala to run interactive queries. This helps you come up with the best solution without disrupting your workflow. Instead of trying to shrink data to a representative subset, you can analyze all data you have and produce the most accurate solutions to problems. Further, Impala is Apache licensed. It enables users to query low latency SQL data from HDFS and Apache HBase without causing any data movement or transformation. In the next screen, let us continue to discuss the benefits of Impala. Impala introduces high flexibility to the familiar database extract, transform, and load process. You can access data with a combination of different Impala and Hadoop components without duplicating or converting the data. When the query speed is slow, use the par key columnar file format for a faster response. This format easily reorganizes data for maximum performance of data warehouse-style queries. For users and business intelligence tools that use SQL, Impala introduces an effective development model to handle new kinds of analysis. The combination of big data and Impala makes SQL easy to use. Impala also provides flexibility for your big data workflow. SQL capabilities of Impala, such as filtering, calculating, sorting, and formatting, let you perform these operations in Impala. This helps organize the query results for presentation. In the next screen, let us understand the role of Impala in exploratory business intelligence. Prior to Impala, business intelligence data was typically condensed to a manageable chunk of high-value information. The information then passed through a complicated ETL cycle before it was uploaded to a database. With Impala, this process is minimized. The data arrives in Hadoop after fewer steps, and Impala queries it immediately. The high-capacity and high-speed storage system of a Hadoop cluster lets you bring in all the data. As Impala can query raw data files, you can skip the time-consuming steps of loading and reorganizing data. This provides new possibilities for querying analytic data. You can use exploratory data analysis and data discovery techniques to query this type of data. In the next screen, let us look at the requirements to install Impala. In this demo, you will learn to use Cloudera Manager to start all the Impala services. Open the Cloudera Manager page in the browser and go to the home page. In the home page, click the Hosts tab to see the Hadoop services running on that host. Click the Hadoop service running on the host. On the host page, click the Processes tab to see the Impala services configured on this host. On this page, you see that three Impala services are configured, State Store, Catalog, and Impala Server. Click the State Store service, which acts as a coordinator between different Impala servers running on different hosts. On this page, you can see many default charts generated for analyzing the performance of State Store. To start the State Store, click the Action drop-down shown at the rightmost corner of this screen. In the drop-down list, select Start this Impala State Store. A confirmation pop-up will appear on the screen. 
click the Start This Impala State Store button. Now, a command detail page will open, which will display the progress of Start This Impala State Store. Close the command detail page. Now, go back to the Processes page. Click the Impala Catalog Server service. Warning unresponsive script message will appear on the screen. Click the Continue button. To start the catalog server, click the Action drop-down shown at the rightmost corner of the screen. In the drop-down list, select Start this Impala Catalog Server. In the confirmation pop-up, click on Start this Impala Catalog Server. Now a command detail page will open and display the progress of Start this Impala Catalog Server. Close the command detail page. Go back to the Process page. Click the Impala Server service. Warning unresponsive script message will appear on the screen. Click the Continue button. To start the Impala server, click on the Action drop-down shown at the rightmost corner of the screen. In the drop-down list, select Start this Impala server. A confirmation pop-up will appear on the screen. Click Start This Impala Server. Now a command detail page will open and display the progress of Start This Impala Catalog Server. Close the command detail page. This concludes the demo on using Cloudera Manager to start all the Impala services. Let us learn how to start Impala in the next screen. If you install Impala with Cloudera Manager, you can use Cloudera Manager to start and stop the services. The Cloudera Manager GUI lets you conveniently check if all services are running and set configuration options using form fields in a browser. To start the Impala State Store and Impala D from the command line or a script, you can use the service command. Alternatively, you can start the daemons directly through the Impala D, State Store D, and Catalog D executables. Start the Impala State Store and then start Impala D instances. You can modify the values of the service initialization scripts when starting the State Store and Impala by editing slash etc slash default slash Impala. Start the State Store service using a command such as sudo service impala dash state dash store start. Start the catalog service using a command such as sudo service impala dash catalog start. Start the impala service on each data node using a command such as sudo service impala dash server start. In the next screen, we will look at a demo on starting Impala. In this demo, you will learn to start Impala from command line. Connect to the Impala server using PuTTY. Execute the command to start Impala State Store. Press Enter. After starting Impala State Store, start the Impala Catalog Server by executing the command shown on the screen. Press Enter. Once you have State Store and Catalog Services running, start the Impala Server by executing the command shown on the screen. Press Enter. This concludes the demo on starting Impala from Command Line. Let us discuss data storage in Impala in the next screen. Impala uses two media to store its data, Hadoop Distributed File System, or HDFS, and HBase. Impala depends on the redundancy provided by HDFS to protect from hardware or network outages on individual nodes. In HDFS, Impala table data is represented as data files in HDFS file formats and compression codecs.
for creating a new table, Impala reads these files regardless of their file names. New data is added in the files with names controlled by Impala. HBase is a database storage system built on top of HDFS without built-in SQL support. It provides an alternative storage medium for Impala data. When you define a table in Impala and map it to its equivalent table in HBase, you can query the data of the HBase tables through Impala. In addition, you can perform join queries including both Impala and HBase tables. Let us discuss managing metadata in the next screen. For tracking metadata of schema objects, such as tables and columns, Impala uses the same infrastructure as Hive. Impala maintains table definition information in a central database called the Metastore. You can use MySQL or PostgreSQL to act as a common Metastore database for both Impala and Hive. Each Impala node caches all the metadata to reuse in future queries against the same table. Therefore, you need to make a metadata update for an Impala if metadata change that occurs is made from another Impala D instance in your cluster or through Hive. A metadata change also occurs if change is made to a database to which clients such as the Impala Shell or ODBC connect directly. Database and table metadata is typically modified by Hive via Alter, Create, Drop or Insert operations and Impala D via Create Table, Alter Table and Insert operations. Invalidate metadata marks table metadata as stale and reloads when the table is referenced next. Let us learn about controlling data access in the next screen. You can control data access in Impala through authorization, authentication, and auditing. You can use the Sentry open source project for user authorization. Sentry includes a detailed authorization framework for Hadoop. When authorization is enabled, Impala picks the user ID of the OS, where the Impala shell or other client programs are run, and associates various privileges with each user of the computer. You can control access to Impala data by using authorization techniques. Let us now discuss Impala shell commands in the next screen. The Impala shell tool and Impala shell help perform functions such as creating databases and tables, inserting data, and issuing queries. For ad hoc queries and exploration, SQL statements can be used in an interactive session. In an interactive session, the dash Q allows issuing of a single query from the command line. You can do this without the help of the interactive interpreter. You can use the dash Q option to run Impala shell from a shell script. You can also use the dash Q option with the command invocation syntax using scripts such as Python or Perl. Using the dash O option, you can save the query output as a file. Using the dash B option, you can print a text file as an output with comma separated, tab separated, or other delimited values. When printed in a non-interactive mode, the query output gets printed to the standard output format or to any file that the dash O option specifies. Incidental output, on the other hand, is printed to standard error. This allows you to process only the query output as part of the Unix pipeline. In an interactive mode, the read line command is used by Impala Shell to recall or edit any previous commands. Let us look at more Impala Shell commands in the next screen. You can use the Impala Shell tool to run the following commands. Connect, Describe, Explain, Help, History, Insert, Quit, Refresh, Select, Set, Shell, Show, Use, and Version. Commands such as alter, compute stats, explain, insert, and connect can be used to pass requests to the Impala D daemon that the shell is connected to within Impala shell. In the next screen, let us view a demo on launching the Impala shell command. In this demo, you will learn to launch Impala shell to execute SQL query. To launch Impala shell, execute the Impala shell command.
This will open an Impala shell. Type help in this shell to see the list of supported commands. Type help command to get the help regarding a particular command. Type help connect. Type help explain. Type help select. Type help describe. Type help insert. Type version. Type help values. Type help profile. This concludes the demo launching Impala Shell to execute SQL query. Let us now proceed to the quiz section. Let us summarize the topics covered in this lesson. Cloudera Impala is a massively parallel processing SQL query engine or database that runs on Apache Hadoop. Impala is a flexible engine that integrates well with the existing Hadoop components. The Impala architecture also enhances SQL query speed on Hadoop data. With Impala, the business intelligence data arrives in Hadoop after fewer steps, and Impala queries it immediately. The Cloudera Manager GUI lets you conveniently check if all services are running and set configuration options using form fields in a browser. Impala uses two media to store its data, Hadoop Distributed File System, or HDFS, and HBase. For tracking metadata of schema objects such as tables and columns, Impala uses the same infrastructure as Hive. You can control data access in Impala through authorization, authentication, and auditing. This concludes the lesson introduction to Impala.